Your father used to say he liked you more when you were asleep. He used to say the same thing about you. I'm sorry if I wasn't lonely. You were. You and Dad left me every day of my life. We did the best we could. That if I could present a convincing argument, you put this off. This may be the only time I get to hear my daughter pose an argument as a lawyer. Huh? Can I start? Put my glasses. As citizens of this country, we live under a banner of freedoms granted us by our Constitution. Our complete allegiance to the guidelines and principles of this document has served to make our country the great nation that it is today. That said, there is no precedent historical or constitutional for a citizen's right to be made dead. Freedom is not about doing whatever we please. It's about not belonging to someone else. The Ninth Circuit Court felt that the limited few who would be helped by practices such as assisted suicide were not worth the sacrifice to the sanctity of human life. They fear this slippery slope might lead to assisted suicide being performed on depressed, disabled, or financially burdened persons who are not terminally ill. You, you are not that person. But by placing your physical comfort ahead of our Constitution, you jeopardize its place as the cornerstone of our society. As my father, you taught me to persevere through the difficult trials in life. I turn to you when facing my own personal challenges, exams, heartbreaks, disappointments, and successes. taught me lessons which cannot be learned in a classroom. And you continue to teach me. So it is with heavy heart that I stand before you today, asking you to remain. Remain our beacon of light. Remain our teacher our pillar of strength Rem remain here with us a living example of everything that you raised us to be please Debbie Thank you. 
I raised you to be. You win. I can't promise how long I'll be able to hold on, but I'll try. Is this really what you want, Dad? What I want doesn't matter. Your sister just proved that. She's not dealing with what you're dealing with. She's not the one dying. She doesn't feel it. Tell her what you want. Tell her. I want to say goodbye. Not already. Yes, you are. You just proved that. Karen, you're brilliant. All right, and I've known this, and I've never said it. You're the most prepared person that I've ever known. If anyone's ready, you are. Watching the day come on. I always have. And I, just, I see all of you. And like, like a sunrise, I, I'll watch over and over and over. <laughs> I feel like I've never asked any questions. Now I, I have so many. Ask him, I'll answer. When we were kids. Mambo Bob. <laughs> he can dance. It's true. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's true. No, it's not. Can't tell him it's true. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, he I'm, could dance. Oh, Mambo Bob. <laughs> <laughs> you never see me, Mambo. It's a beautiful day. Yeah. And you're ready. Such great care of you. You both did. I'm so sorry. You have nothing to feel sorry about. What if we just... Shh. Uh, uh, Come on, everything. It's warm and you sit in the sun and you find yourself. You find someone to laugh with, someone to love. But I love you, Robert. We'll always have that. Always. We've just begun the morphing. And in a moment, I'm going to remove you from the respirator. 
Are you comfortable, Miss Lindsay? You can hold his hands. Talk to him. Such a pleasure and an honor knowing you. And I'm gonna miss you so much. Thank you. Are you going somewhere? Good night. <laughs> 